Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2nd to the 8th love reading. This is a weekly reading. It may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Pisces. just want to make sure that is zoomed in correctly. That's pretty good. Alright, the basis of your reading is the Four of Pentacles. That's an obsession of some sort. Now that's the basis of your week. Now it's obsession probably with work. That's what it could be. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, because we have work right next to it, and this is a resistance because you you can't you can't um, you can't let go of something because you just it's yours and you just can't let go of it. Could be a partnership because we do have a partner here. Um, this is something new on a physical level. So this week you could be getting some money. You could be even getting a gift of money, or you could be purchasing something big. We have an ace right here and an ace right here. Two aces, those are raw opportunities handed to you from above. One is exciting and one is a gift. They're both actually gifts. But this is this could be a uh, very this could be a new partnership of some sort, alright? A new growth, something very um, exciting, alright? So I think I think there's something new and exciting this week, and it, you could feel like it's a gift. Um, underneath that we have the Eight of Swords. This is something, this is a false imprisonment. Feeling like you're stuck in a situation that you're not really stuck in. Or be remaining stuck in a situation, uh, comfortably stuck. Next to that Seven of Wands tells me like it's been a battle for you. And I think you're ready for a change. Perhaps you've made a change. And now your whole world is, is, is about to um, evolve into something new because you've changed your perspective. We have a change of perspective up there. I think you've seen the light about something. Maybe you've let something go that's been holding you back from making a move towards somebody or something very exciting. You've let a thought go that was holding you back. You've decided to look at something from a new perspective. And that is a major breakthrough, okay? I think that you have persevered, you've been resilient, you've been waiting for something for a long time, maybe maybe even nine months you've been waiting for something to come to fruition. And you've just been very, very patient. Um, and I think that maybe this month it could finally come to fruition. It could finally happen. Um, you didn't quit, you didn't let go. Um, and you've just been waiting. You've been listening. You've been listening to your inner guide a lot. I think that you must be a spiritual master, many of you. We have the Hierophant right, right next to the High Priestess. They're also considered a couple in the tarot deck. So this week you could be... Um, either meeting or being or united or with or you could have persevered with the person of your dreams you know what i'm trying to say you've 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 stuck it out you've waited and whoever comes to your mind maybe you're obsessed with somebody because this person is your soulmate okay and and you finally decided to um, look at something from a new perspective. I'm not sure what it is. 
um, but I see that you're a spiritual master and these two are a couple. So if you have somebody in your life right now, this person that you are with or that comes to your mind is probably the correct one for you. All right. Um, if there isn't somebody in your life right now and you're waiting for somebody, you could meet this person through your job. Okay. Um, I do see that you're focusing a lot on your work. You, you're working on building your foundation. You don't quit. You have a lot of skills. Um, and I see you just moving forward in that, in that path that you've been on where you, you just are juggling your work and your love life. For many of you, that's what I see. There's a juggling between work and love life. Um, we do have a breakthrough here, and I think that you may be deciding to um, change direction in some way if you haven't already. We have the death card up here, which is a transformation. It's the ending of something. It's connected to all this work. So maybe you're deciding to give a little bit more time or more focus onto something else. The death card right next to the world card tells me that you are about to start a new chapter, a new chapter of your life. Something big has been learned. Okay, we have these two completions right next to each other. Something has been learned really, really big, and it's time to start a new phase of your life. Okay, and at first it might seem a little chaotic, but um, try not to resist it, because if you're obsessed with your job and you don't give it time, then, you know, that'll prolong it, that'll cause a delay. But next to the death card, this Ace of Pentacles, I mean this Ace of Wands, this is a new partnership that is very exciting. And the death card is right up here, so I think you're about to move forward. I do. And this could be career-wise. I mean, you could be um, starting a new career. You could be starting your own business, and you've really been resisting doing this for some reason. Um, but you may finally decide, you know what, I'm going to move forward with this. I have the courage. I have the confidence. You know, it's time to do it. All right. Um, we have the karma card up here. This is the judgment card. I think I already talked about this. That's about the breakthrough that you're about to have. I think you're going to let something go that has been holding you back. Because now... I think you are finally listening to your inner guide. Maybe you've been seeking guidance from somebody. Could be even from somebody from above. Or it could be somebody, you know, a counselor or uh, somebody that you respect. Okay, you've been seeking guidance and you might be ready to um, listen to them. All right. But I do see that you've been falsely stuck in a situation that you were never really stuck in or you didn't need to stay there. And you may have even had your guard up against somebody. It's like, you know, there's no secrets. Nobody can have secrets with you because you're like a spiritual master, okay? And so you, you've had your guard up and you've been resisting something. And I think you've been resisting love and you've been burying yourself in your work. That's what I think. But I think you're about to have a transformation. I want to see if love comes up in this pull. The moon. This is you. Fear. The wild unknown. Fear of the unknown. Princess of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Ace of Wands again. You have a lot of excitement here. This is a new partnership. Either in work or period, a person, period, okay? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's change on the horizon. I think you're changing your focus. That's what the transformation is. Maybe you're letting go of the fear of the unknown. That's what this letting go is. You're looking at things from a new perspective. This Eight of Pentacles again. Because you are so, you've been working on your foundation and you've been working on saving. You've been working on, I think I said foundation already, but you've been really trying to do all the right things to provide. Provide, provide, provide. 
okay? You're a provider. And I think that that's what your focus has been on, all right? Um, and it's been keeping you stuck. It's been keeping, well, not stuck, because you're, you're comfortably stuck. It's not really stuck. It's like you're, you've been focusing on that so much that you can't see anything but that, okay? Because there's not a lot of love here, but there is excitement here. There's a lot of excitement here, and it could be over a job, or but it could be over another person, too. It could be over both. You may be having this new welling of attraction or lust towards another person, and you're just like, oh, oh, now i got to change it, you know, and it might be a little, you're resisting the change because you are so prudent, you know, and you're so, you don't want to lose money by giving these people time or energy because you got to focus on your job you got to focus on your work because you're the provider and you have to provide and you have to you know that's what i see um ten of cups there we go i think a lot of this does have to do with love and success okay i think that you are doing all of this for your foundation your financial foundation for love, either the love you're in now or for future love so that you can provide. I see that you you want to have everything you need to survive and that's what this week is about. All right, you still want the love. I see that there is love here, but you're resisting it still because you're you're still focused on your your job and your work quite a bit. All right. Um but you may be obsessed with your job, but you also may be obsessed with another person which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody that has a lot of earth in their chart. Um, we have a lot of eights here. There's a lot of materialism, okay? So materialism, that's what eights are about, and power and control and the need to provide. So I see this as a week of providing for both, you know, providing for your foundation and providing for love. So I think that's where there's a little disorganization or a little chaos because you're going back and forth. We have this... Two of Pentacles and this Two of Wands. It's about focusing your energy, and this is about chaos and change. So I think that that's what's going on here. I think that you're focusing your energy on both, and it's a little bit chaotic. All right. Um, it does look very exciting. You have the Ace of Wands twice right over each other. It's a new new partner. It doesn't have to be brand new. It can be a resurgence with somebody you're with, but there's a new sexual excitement here this week. Okay? And it's loving. It is. It's loving and kind. All right? Um, and I think that it is, it's all happening because you're looking at something from a different perspective. You do have Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius here as well. Um... I know I didn't name all the signs. You have Taurus, Scorpio. I do see that you've had your guard up in a very big way, but you may be releasing that because you're letting something go, and I think it's the thoughts that have been holding you back. That's what I think you're letting go of. Fear. You're letting go of the fear of the unknown. And I think that it's with a person. Could be with a job, however it resonates with you. And I think that you're going to be very successful. I think this week leads to your success because of, because of your prudence. Okay? Because of your need to provide. I think uh, you're definitely not a quitter. And you need to provide. You feel like you're, you need to provide. And you're excited about that providing. And I think that, you know, there's, there could be some definitely some sexual um, drive this week as well, okay? Because there's some sexual energy here where, you know, there's some sexual attraction. Act as if your partner is here. Interesting. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if you, they are with you so you will always consider them. 
If your actions and thoughts take into account someone else's feelings, you will be more in alignment with a true relationship. If your partner is not with you yet, generate the feeling that they generate the feeling that you are already sharing your life with that special someone manifest. This will change the way you feel and can alter your attitude and your potential to attract them into your life. Interesting. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you, so you will always consider them. That's a good message. Always consider your partner. So Pisces, that's what I have for this week, October 2nd to October 8th. It looks very exciting. It does. I think there's some excitement here. Um, I do. I And I think that you're just trying to juggle it all between work and a, a relationship. That's what it is. That's what I see.